Dear students, I'm thrilled to be here with all of you today. This year is a special one for Istituto Lorenzo de' Medici as we celebrate our 50th anniversary. The story of LDM goes beyond the tale of the Guarducci family who in the early 70s recognized the importance of building international cultural connections. It encompasses the many generations of students, like yourselves, who have embarked on their educational journey here, pursuing their dreams and aspirations. Studying in Italy, and especially in Florence, is more than just about, about academic education. It's a life-changing experience that goes back to the time of the Grand Tour, helping students discover more about themselves. We've always believed in the power of human values and encouraged our students to find and use their own voice because that's what will shape their future and the world. Communication is one of the foundation, if not the most important foundation of mankind. We have used communication to uh, advance, to build and distribute art, to build and distribute knowledge, and uh, as such, in, in Lorenzo de' Medici, we, we treasure the concept of communication. Um, what is important today is to also understand that the role of technology uh, within communication. Uh, technology is starting to uh, eat the role of communication and media uh, in a way that is completely unprecedented. Um, AI in particular is reshaping completely the way we see um, technology and how technology should be used and how technology serves communication to enhance the possibility that mankind has to build connection, to build value, to enhance how we are in, uh, uh, as mankind. Uh, that means that the entire department is geared towards understanding how to better uh, forge a link between uh, how we see communication, how we see the importance of media and how technology has to play a role still driven, and, and, and Florence is the best possible way on earth to say that and to state that, driven by humans. Uh, we want our students to understand how uh, mankind and humans and humanism uh, still plays a definite role in shaping what communication is right now and in the future. And the aim and the mission of the entire communication department is to create critical thinkers. One of the most exciting things we're doing in the communications department this year is a focus on special programs. And I can't think of any program more special than our new mentoring effort. Most successful people who work in media and communications will tell you that they owe at least part of their success to mentors, older men and women who helped them, who were experienced, who gave them professional insight and personal encouragement, which is incredibly necessary in this very competitive field. LDM's new mentoring program is designed to be that kind of network, a place where students can fully explore what they want to do with their lives and their careers. And as the graphic design intern at Hotel Daglio Rafi, um, it was really a great collaboration between us just to be able to, on my side of things, be able to showcase and present different scenarios within the hotel to showcase um, their different environments and lifestyle um, to give people a point of view of what it could be like in the hotel. Um, I would say that our collaboration has been really good, being able to plan and think about um, how we best want to um, showcase and photograph. And um, it was just really fun that I could model for this and then um, Maya could work on her photography skills. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I would say doing this internship abroad um, has been a really great experience just to see a different cultural perspective overall. 
Yeah, from my perspective, I really enjoyed this collaboration. I thought it was such a unique experience to be able to participate in and be a part of. I loved being able to combine um, my love of fashion and photography um, with my marketing side and my marketing background. And so this was just a super unique um, project to work on from start to finish, including working with Kendall and coming up with what dresses we were gonna use, what was the concept behind the shoe. So that was really cool. And as for interning abroad, I think it's a opportunity that everybody should take advantage of. I really enjoy the idea of being able to immerse myself in a new culture through interning while still getting um, valuable skills for my career. Um, this has been such a unique opportunity that I will never forget. Hi, my name is Martino and I'm a professor here at LDM and I teach filmmaking. So communication is really important nowadays and communicating through images is even more important since video is the most used tool to communicate. And um, this course teaches you the basis of communication through images, the basics of uh, video making, which is very, very important and useful for any major, any major of study. Uh, that's why uh, I recommend this course for uh, all sorts of students. I, I would say the to start off, um, this is one of the most beautiful schools I have, I've ever been in. Um, to be able to walk in here three days a week and and admire the the statues and all the beautiful art that the students make, um, it's 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 a pleasure just just to be here. Um, I would say for the experience itself, it's been it's been honestly like it's exceeded my expectations. Music is just such such a special subject um, because there can be language barriers. Um, maybe you don't know the same language. Maybe you can't speak to each other. But everyone everyone knows music. Everyone can love music, and music is is certainly something that can bring can bring people together. I mean, my, the the classrooms that I'm in, um, the younger students don't speak English very well, um, which is okay. But I. With the piano and the music, um, we know we know the same songs, and so we're able to play music and sing together. And it it definitely it, it brings us together, and it's it's a lot of fun, and you know creates another another connection with the students. The, being here has changed my my perception um, of the language and uh, and the people for sure. Um, I would say that it's it's like it's helped me it's helped me become a better Italian speaker. It's helped me be more feel more immersed in the culture. I'm always inspired by uh, how Dr. Lapucci's practices have developed over the course of her career. She seems ready to um, look into new technologies and new practices, new approaches and ways of doing things. 
And I really admire that because I feel like a lot of other conservators that I've talked to who have such an extensive amount of experience as Dr. Lupucci are rather resistant to change. And so I really admire that she will like critically analyze a new technology with caution, but like really consider it and how it can actually better her practice and the field. Restoration is like medicine. So would you undergo surgery without diagnostic testing, for instance? So without science today, restoration is impossible. We need to, to know and look, map and locate where the damage is. We need uh, special scientists that develop materials that the restorers must be able to ask, so restorers today need to study chemistry, need to study physics, in order to pose their questions to the scientists and ask them for the specific medicines. Virtual restoration is the last goal. In the future, the computer can help us accelerating, for instance, the making of new copies, because less and less the artwork should circulate, and more and more very well done replicas with digital tools and laser scanning can be the real exposition objects. All forms of art produce images. Literature, poetry, they produce mental images. Music produces sound images. Sculpture, painting, architecture, of course, produce graphic, pictorial images. All art forms produce images. What's an image then? Emit, an image is a perception of a likeness, of a similitude. So images and our perception of them has always to be with our feelings before our knowledge, intellect, and conceptions. So to feel an image uh, is to perceive it, and to perceive an image is to perceive an emotion. So artistic literacy is also a literacy to emotions. We communicate with, with images and therefore we communicate with emotions. Politicians, marketers, whoever deals with images knows that. And therefore we have decided to enlarge the title of our department into art history and visual culture to give this broader sense of art history as a multidisciplinary discipline. So I have aspirations of becoming a contemporary art curator at a major art museum, which is why this experience has been so helpful and inspiring. I've been able to learn so much about the contemporary art of Italian culture, as well as the lifestyles of Italian artists, which I couldn't experience anywhere else. And I'm so thankful for the LDM Gallery. The idea of creating the LDM Relaxation and Meditation Lab actually came from our president, Carla. And so we created this wonderful space where we have several teachers, professors, um, primarily our professors who teach the yoga course at LDM, as well as our new mindfulness course. And we're offering daily sessions to the students, um, obviously free of charge where they can come and just enjoy this beautiful space and um, have some, some meditation uh, practices, have some gentle body movement, um, some sound baths, and it's really a place where the students can come and be completely at ease and feel safe and, and relax. Much needed.
I am Professor Pacini from LDM Institute, teaching uh, Philosophy Introduction to Ethics. We are in this farm of alpacas, these very cute animals, original from the south of America, that here in Italy are used a lot for doing pet therapy, and especially in my course, it's great, in my opinion, to join the students with these animals because for the ethics of care, that is a branch of ethics developed after the 70s of the last century, we are called to join in a kind of relation with the nature in a sustainable way and with animals. Especially in the contact with them, staying in touch with them, we can learn a kind of respect that is very balanced through the nature and through the human beings to have to develop new ideas and proposals for um, new ethical approaches. So staying with animals, um, my students are learning how to approach in a different way the life, how to learn from something that is very natural, that is outside of the rationality of humans, how to keep care of each other. And I think that's really important in this world. And for studying ethics, it's great to know how to care each other, to care the whole humanity. I really like the concept of slow living. I think here in Italy, I've gotten to experience it more than I have in, in America. Um, and also not just um, with food, but just with anything in general. People like take walks in the park and um, they in general just slow down their lives instead of, you know, going, going, going just from point A to point B. They kind of take time to enjoy the things in between. Yeah, I really like the concept of slow living and I hope that in some ways I can bring the slow habits that I've learned here in Italy back to USA with me. We are here to talk about sustainable food. We are in La Castelluzza farm. It's a farm managed by two brothers, so already this idea includes what is sustainable. I'm talking about social sustainability, so the idea that this uh, farm is managed by these two people involve our course, in which we will talk about food production made by people of these territories, in which you can find many varieties. Here we have favino, we have asparagus, we have a lot of products that are typical of this area. Especially we are here to talk about crop rotation that is fundamental in current time and here, thanks to these guys, we are experiencing how they produce and now we can taste a really nice product. Today we celebrate your voices. Your voice is unique to you, carried by your breath, and it reflects the essence of who you are. Cherish it, nurture it, and take good care of it. Let it resonate in every new project you undertake, as it will bring to them a value that comes from within you, something that cannot be artificially created.